La historia de la humanidad está plagada de intentos de volar, pero no fue hasta el año 875 que un andalusí, Abbas ibn Firnas, logró cierto éxito. Y digo cierto éxito porque el tío se subió a una torre, se ató unas alas a los brazos y se lanzó. Diez segundos voló. Lo que pasa es que al aterrizar se partió las piernas. Cosa que quizás explique por qué Richard Browning le suele hacer sobre una masa de agua. Cuando estoy flying a jet seat, me siento slightly concerned that nothing fails and please when I'm landed. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's not very inspirational, is it? It's honest. I'm Richard Browning. I am the founder and chief test pilot from Gravity and we build thousand horsepower jet suits. Tell me where this fascination with flying came from. I guess a lot of it originates from my family. I've got a load of old VHS footage of flying model gliders. Uh, I used to do that with my, with my father, and, and I suppose probably it was the origin of my passion for flight, I think. If you train the human mind and the human body, you can achieve some pretty amazing stuff. So why not use your mind as the flight computer and your body as the flight structure? You just need to add some horsepower. And I thought that little jet engines are probably the place to start. The first proper time I really flew was the moment where I had two engines on each arm and one on each leg, and it was only about six seconds. Before then, there'd been lots of moments where probably momentarily I'd been off the ground, sort of jumping around and things, but uh, you could never call that flight. It was that very distinct moment in around November 2016, and that's when it all changed. So the suit is made up of five jet engines, micro gas turbines, similar to the ones on jet aircraft or civil airliners, just a lot smaller. There's two on each arm and one round the back, and between them they create this like camera tripod of thrust that then you manipulate by moving your arms around. And then there's an electronic control system which also feeds a heads-up display so you can actually look through a lens and see your fuel and engine data. That actually does really remind me of Iron Man. You've got Jarvis telling you what's happening. It, it, is, it is pretty much that. There's, there, we haven't managed to get the voice to work because uh, you can't hear a thing when it's very loud. We, I, we haven't tried to order a pizza whilst flying yet. <laughs> but we, maybe, maybe we'll one day. Se me está haciendo la boca agua solo de imaginarlo. En realidad, solo me queda una pregunta. Can I try out the suit? Anything. That's, 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 oh, there you go. <laughs> now it's doing something. 